Well, disappointing Chinese economic data in recent months, including, of course, today's weak flash PMI readings, have caused much concern for China watchers. Our reporter Michelle Xing sat down with Stephen Green, head of Greater China Research at Standard Charter Bank, to talk about growth, unemployment, and corporate debt levels right here in China. The flash PMI came out today, the lowest in 11 months, indicating that manufacturing activities continue to slow here in China. How big of a concern is it? It's clear that the manufacturing sector has been slowing down. Uh, it's also clear that the services and consumption also has slowed down. Um, I don't think the economy overall is actually contracting. Um, I think there are probably lots and lots of companies outside of the sample survey that are still doing okay. Um, but it's clear that this economy has slowed down uh, and it's going through some tough times. Um, but we don't think that there's any reason to panic right now. Now the government is more tolerant of a slower growth. Are you worried about unemployment issues as growth rate slows? Sure, I think you know, if you go back and look at uh, sort of growth rates in the 1990s and 2000s, we were running at kind of 12, 13, 14 percent growth at those points. And at that point, we needed to have strong growth because we were having to provide jobs for a lot of new work entrants into the workforce. If you believe the, the numbers, it looks like in the last two years the actual size of the workforce has contracted. So not only are we having less new people enter the workforce, the actual size of the workforce is contracting. So we don't need to create as many jobs as we did 10 or 20 years ago. That means we can grow at a slower pace without having social problems for unemployment. Why are you not so concerned about China's credit to GDP ratio of 214 percent, but more about uh, corporate debt levels? So when we looked at um, Asia and China in terms of leverage, um, the thing that everyone worries about, and we have concerns about too, was government debt in China. We estimate about 80 percent of GDP. The semi-official number from some of the government agencies now is 50 percent. We think that's an underestimate. We think we're more looking at 80 percent. Uh, and there's some, there's some concern there because we don't understand local government debt very well. No one seems to understand it very well. There's not much public disclosures on that, and so it's a bit of a worry. Much more of a concern, though, is corporate debt. Um, it's very large. Uh, it looks like the last five, ten years, corporates have basically said, the bigger, the bigger we are, the healthier we are, the more successful we are with very little attention to efficiency and, and returns. So everyone's been building market share, building assets, and now we've hit the point where growth is slower, credit growth has slowed down, the global economy is much slower, the government's refusing to throw stimulus at the economy. So suddenly these companies have much slower sales revenues and much higher interest burdens because their debts have gone up. What's the growth momentum for China going forward? Well, we think probably um, the second half of this year will be roughly similar in terms of momentum to the first half. Um, probably will, the official GDP numbers will probably come in at around 7.5%. Next year we think will be probably a little bit slower, maybe 7%. Um, so as long as we can maintain a certain level of minimum growth, we'll be fine. Uh, and the focus will be on reforms. But at the same time, you need to keep up a certain level of growth. Otherwise, you can't do the reforms you need. So I think what the, what the government's at the moment is trying to balance these two things. Um, and there's an extra difficulty because no one really knows what the minimum level of growth is. Some people say it's 6%, 6.5%. Some people say it's 7%. Some people say it's, We don't know. We've never been here before. 